Hi hey everyone, it's the Average Man here again. Uh, I've got another robot kit to show you today. Uh, it's been a bit of a theme lately. Um, so this one's from the guys at Dexter Industries. Now these guys normally deal with Lego. I think that was the first thing they started doing was Lego Robotics. And they've moved into the Raspberry Pi world. Good on you, Dexter Industries. Uh, so this is the Go By Go Kit. Go Pi Go Kit. Um, so let's just get straight into it. Let me show you what's inside. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to build this. Uh, do a bit of a time lapse like I did before. And... If you look at a blog that the company's just posted this video as well, um, you can actually win this as part of a giveaway. So if you're a subscriber to my blog, you're automatically entered to any product I give away. And I'm hoping this 2015 is going to be full of giveaways. So get subscribed. It's over at AverageManVersusRaspberryPi.com. So the kit comes, as you expect, in a box. Now I'm not going to disturb this one because this is the one you can win, right? So I'm going to put that one back. So that, one lucky winner. Okay. Let's go to this one. This one's already opened, um, so I can show you around, actually. This bit is on the side as well. So that's what you get in the box. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's have a look. Now, similar to some of the other robot kits, what I'll find interesting about this kind of market is you, everyone's got a different take and different way of doing things. So some people, I think the last one, the last kit I reviewed only had the uh, PCB as a chassis, um, which is quite a small robot. This one's got a bit of both, so it's got a acrylic for the chassis as well as the PCB as well. So let's just go straight and see what's here. So we've got the PCB, I'll come back to that and I'll actually show you around that board and show you what that, that's kind of like the main thing. That's, that's got all your features, all the things you're going to be able to code. So I'll come back to that and we'll, do, we'll have a little focus on that in a moment. So that's the PCB. Um, you've got two wheels, you recognise these. Um, you've got kind of standard robot wheels there, so they're included as well. You've got two of those. Now what accompany those is the ball caster. Um, so that's going to balance you a bit like a free wheel car, remember Mr Bean? Yeah, that kind of thing. So that's included as well, and there's some of the fixings for the chassis as well there. Uh, again, some more plastic parts. That, these parts are interesting. This is the encoders, something I haven't actually seen on one of the robot kits that I've reviewed yet. Um, I'll come to that in a moment as well. This one runs from eight AA batteries. So there's your battery holder there. I'll put that over there. Some fixing, standard. You've got two of your kind of quite familiar uh, robot motors there. Obviously the power that goes to your battery pack that's going to clip onto the PCB. <coughs> and we've got the chassis. It's, it's, quite like, it's quite a big chassis, this one. And if you look at the GoPi Go website, it's designed to kind of take those knocks and fall off of tables. So if you've got kids, this is quite a good one for you. Um, by the way it's built, hopefully, you shouldn't break it too easily. I know they tend to break anything. Um, so you've got some nice print there on that side as well, but that's chassis. And I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll build this and we'll, we'll come back to this in a moment as well. So that's the GoPro Go. It's, like I say, it's made by Dexter Industries. Um, they're currently going for, let me just double check. It's about $89, so that's about £59 uh, on there as well. So let me build this and then we'll talk some more ones there and I'll show you around the board. Okay, so I wanted to show you around the PCB. This is where all the magic happens. Um, so the rest is, you know, chassis, wheels, motors, um, but some of the kind of cool stuff that's added is on here. So let's go around the parts you can see. So up the top left here, um, that's where you're gonna connect the power from your battery pack. Um, these points here, so we turn it around, you've got these pins. Uh, that's where you're gonna connect the motors to. Uh, your Raspberry Pi, it's got a 26 pin header there. Now, this will work with your Model A, well, it depends on RAM, but um, all kind of size of the board. So, your, your, your old Model B, your B, plus, your Pi 2, uh, it's going to work with all of those. Uh, the rest of the pins will just overhang there. And you've got a section here, so if you want to break that out again to add some other components um, or even just a header for whatever you want to do, you've got that there as well. Um, on off switch, that's handy. In case your code goes a bit wrong and starts doing a runner. Uh, you've got an LED there as well as a bit of a power LED indicator. There's your motor controller and a huge capacitor there as well. Um, I don't know, I like that. Something about that, I think it looks cool. Not sure what the benefit of a larger cap is. I guess you're holding more power, but it yeah, kind of looks a, looks a bit meaty. I like that. Um, okay, so the level conversion chip is there. I can't tell you what that does, but I'm sure it's important. I'm only the average man, as you know. Um, this part here is uh, the ISP header. So what that is, this is all controlled by an 80 mega chip. Um, and if you want to program that 80 mega as well, you can connect some stuff there and do that. That's way beyond me. Um, I guess for most people, we'll be quite happy with how it comes out of the box and we'll just 
crack on as it is using the examples. Um, if you want to use line sensors, there are the pins here, so you can connect up to three line sensors there. Um, you've got LEDs, purely for the fun of it, there's two LEDs at the front there. This section here is for adding a servo, so your ultra, uh, sorry, that's for your servo, so if you want to uh, have a camera on the front that swivels, uh, turns, you can do that as well. Um, we've got Grove connectors here, here, uh, on each side. I haven't used Grove before, but I get the I get the idea. It's just an easy way of connecting stuff. So you've got the serial port at this end and the analog port at this end. And now turning round, there's the 80 mega I spoke about earlier. So that's the that's the kind of um, in between in between the Pi and the and the, the robotics itself. That's quite a familiar uh, chip you've seen in other other kits as well. Um, up here, Grove again, so we've got the PWM slash digital port there. We've got an IT, I2C port here. Um, and these are your rotary encoders. So I mentioned that in the first part of the video. So encoders measure um, how many turns your wheels are taking using something like this connected to, to the wheel. So it's all about how much, uh, I believe it works with light. I'm not actually using it before, so this would be quite a good learning tool for me, especially on encoders. Um, but it, it's just so your code can say, okay, if, if you see so many counts going through one, then make sure it matches the other. It just helps your robot go straight and makes it more accurate if you want to code a certain route. Um, that's my understanding. Anyway, if I'm wrong, do let me know. Um, I'm still learning with you as we go. Um, so we've already covered the motor controllers there as well. So that's just showing you around a PCB, um, just so you get an idea of the kind of features on that. There's quite a lot going on there. Definitely in terms of flexibility, as we've seen with other kits as well, you can use it out of the box and just go backwards, forwards, and, and kind of code a route. Uh, and obviously with all these features, you can then just learn and, and kind of advance your code as you go and use it as a bit of a learning tool. So it's time to build this thing. Um, the GoPi Go website says all I'll need is a crosshead screwdriver. So once again, the trusty Stanley screwdriver pin's coming out. Um, it's still going strong, so I'm going to use that. Um, so it doesn't look too hard. I mean, I've got to take the, uh, the paper off of this acrylic here. Uh, and all you do is just screw the components in. There's no soldering required. Everything's ready to go. The battery pack here has all the connectors ready to go. And that's got the connector there for the PCB as well. So it really is nothing more than the good old Stanley screwdriver. So I'm going to build this. I'll time lapse it so you can see it quickly like last time. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I had to stop filming there. To get the paper off this acrylic is a nightmare. Um, I've seen it in other kits as well, it's a pretty standard thing. I don't have any nails. Um, I didn't have a wife near me either, so um, <laughs> it took me about 10 minutes to get that done. Uh, but that's all done now, so I'm gonna carry on.
so there we go guys that's the go pi go completed well mostly completed um so i've got an old model pi in there and here's my sd card i need to do that bit first i also need to put the batteries in so that's going to look like it's loose but once the batteries go in this part here the batteries bulge out and that'll actually put some kind of pressure onto that um which which kind of holds that in place as well and then lastly before you go um you then attach the motors just through this clever little slot here um, these just motor cables here, so you meant to flash the software before you do that. Um, but I'm running out of time, and what I want to do is get this blog out quickly. Um, and we've got one of these to give away, so if you're a subscriber to the blog, you can win this as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up another day, um, and I'm going to have a look at the code. And what I'm really interested in is seeing how these encoders work. Um, so there's the encoders, and that's all the bits in there that how, how it works. So yeah, looking forward to doing that, but I'm going to do that as part of a separate blog. Um, being a new dad, I'm running out of time for these things, but let's see how we go. Okay, so that's the GoPi Go. And uh, if you have a look at the blog, averageman versus rajapi.com, you can see more. Thanks.